Hello everyone, Russell Bookware Max here, and it's time for an unboxing from the Smug Bug. I'll put a link in the description to the website so you can check it out. The Smug Bug has a lot of really uh, interesting ice pods, great selection. So if you haven't checked out the Smug Bug, I highly suggest that you do so. This is a species that I uh, have been looking at for a while. Well. I should say a morph. I've had this species for a while. Oh, check it out. There's the card, the smug bug there. Um, I'll just put this up here too. You can check it out. You can see that there's a, a website, Facebook page, and an email address. So there we go. And, oh, cool. Comes with a sticker, too. I like it. So, heat pack is still slightly warm. Very good. And let's see what we've got here. All right, maybe you saw the label already. Got Porcelio Scaber Lava. It's a 10 count right there, 10 plus count. And Porcelio Scaber Lava, 25 plus count. I wanted a really robust colony to start out with. I'm really excited for this morph. Um, as Smugbug mentioned on the website, I believe that's where I saw it, these are a co dominant morph, which is interesting. Uh, apparently the only one that has been proven out in Porcelio Scaber, most of the others are just single gene recessive traits, so it'll be fun uh, to play with. And I think that's, that's all I ordered, so just newspaper in there. Now let's get the macro lens and take a closer look. All right, so I'm going to untape these so we can get a look in there. I want to take a moment to give a shout out to our supporters at Patreon. You know, uh, our patrons actually helped me obtain this uh, particular morph, so got to say thank you for that. Um, that's one of the ways you can really help me do things with the channel that I couldn't otherwise do. You know, get, get new stock uh, and share with you what I find out about them, that kind of thing. So I'm pretty excited about it. Let's take a, a look with the macro lens. Oh, some of them are trying to take a, make a break for it. Let's see what we got here. I think this is going to work best uh, because they're trying to make a break for it. And that's, that's fine. I mean, they're going to end up in their, their home. But I, I want to get a good look at what we've got here. Wow. One thing I love about these is the variety of the pattern. Sometimes you just get a little bit of red markings. And I'm sure that plays in with the uh, codominant gene. And a lot of them have a, a lot of red markings, but they're very clear, different from the calicos. I've always liked Porcelio Scaber Calico because of the variety of pattern and color and whatnot. But these are something else because the pattern is very clean. Look at that. It's especially evident on some of the individuals, but see, so this one just has a little bit of dark coloration, almost entirely almost entirely orange there. And this other one is very dark. But in both cases, the pattern is pretty clean, which I think is amazing. That one's kind of in the shadow. Let's see if I can get it in the, the, the moss is sort of shading it. And now it's digging down so I can't see it. Take a look over here. I'm going to open up the moss and see what we can find. All right, let's dig about a bit in here. Oh yeah. A lot of them moving around. Let's, let's dive in with the macro lens again. 
see what we can see. So that one's almost entirely dark. And I think this is that one individual we're looking at from before here. It has the dark wild type coloration, but just just enough pattern to make it fun. Oh, there's a, a stunning individual there for you. Just about perfect proportions of both colors. Release a few more here. I think that's all of them from that container. Wow. Love those colors. All right, let's do this other one. Oh, yep. Yeah. They're fortunately hanging out near the top, which makes them easy to spot. They're trying to get away from me, too, so there's that. I think I messed up the macro lines. There we go. Look at that. Just about every individual is a stunner in its own way. That's fantastic. There are good sizes too. There are some adults or near adults and plenty of smaller juveniles that are probably mature enough to breed, so that's great. Get them out of there. I'm going to try for a couple more close up shots here. That individual has almost a uniform marking along the skirt. Oh, there he goes. Look at that. That's fabulous. And that may well just be one that has the one copy of the gene because it doesn't have. A lot of the orange marking and then there are some in here like this one that has a lot more of the orange or this one here Let's see if I can get a closer look at some of these Wow let's uh, dump those out a little bit I'm going to put a couple of them on this lid so we can get a good look at them, hopefully. So that one has little, if any, orange on it, and this one is almost entirely orange, which is super cool. Well, that ought about do it. Thanks for watching today. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday, all on aquarium and vivarium pets, especially isopods. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then click the bell icon so you don't miss my next video.